Communist Party of the Philippines today marks its 50th year, making it one of the oldest insurgencies in the world. Is peace any closer now than when the rebel group started? K. Imson takes a look. It has been 50 long years of struggle for the Communist Party of the Philippines, a struggle that morphed into the longest-running insurgency in the world. In all, the Communist rebels have engaged in over 40 rounds of peace talks with seven presidents of the Philippines. The talks under President Duterte started on a high note. The president had repeatedly engaged with Communist rebels during his stint as Davao City Mayor and proclaimed a sympathy for their cause. At one point, the president even declared himself a socialist and expressed the possibility of a coalition government with the Communist Party. Duterte went to the extent of hosting rebel leaders and prominent members of the left in Malacanang and appointing three of them to his cabinet. But it has been a love-hate relationship for the past two and a half years. Sometimes the president calls the rebels comrades, other times he calls them terrorists. Last year, the president called it quits and signed Proclamation 360 to formally terminate the negotiations with the rebels. The president says this is because of continued taxation by rebels and attacks on government troops. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana says the rebels are to blame for the shifts in the president's mood. Every time we go, we go on a peace talk with them and we, we have a ceasefire, ceasefire, ceasefire. ceasefire. They used the ceasefire actually to strengthen their other forces. Communist Party of the Philippine founder Joma Sison defends rebel recruitment activities. Ang pagre-recruit, ang pag-organize, tulad ng uh, pag pagpapahayag ng posisyon uh, at pagmobilisa ng masa sa mapayapang paraan, ano yan? Mga basic democratic rights yan. Hindi pwedeng ipatigil ng militar kapag may ceasefire. Kalukuhan yan. Uh, kakitiran ng isip ng military. Season also claims the military has been sabotaging all peace efforts from day one. He said that while the rebels were asking for socio-economic reforms, the military was simply asking for total surrender of the rebels. Hindi mo basta-basta pwedeng imaniobra na mag-surrender. May mga prinsipyo ang mga revolusyonaryo. Uh, huwag na tayo makipag sa kanila eh, dahil Ayaw nilang uh, mag, mag, di, 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 di the Duterte administration has seen several firsts. It was the farthest that peace talks have gotten under any administration. But at the same time, relations are at an all-time low. For the first time, government refused to hold the Christmas ceasefire with the rebels. And so far, few can see any prospect of peace moving further ahead. For News 5, K. Imson, we are One News.